So for today, we're going to be looking at the Orpheus rigs for the Hunters. If you guys don't know, I'm doing the exotic videos again because, well, not again. I've been doing them. It's just it's been a while because, again, second job and everything. But, yeah, we're going to be looking at Orpheus rigs, how it looks, how it shaders, and the ornaments that it has. It has two. And looking at those, how it looks and how it shaders, and making examples it's for them. So if this is your first one, that's usually how we do them. If you guys want to ask for your own exotic, let me know in the comments below. I would advise you to look up the exotic first if i've made it before but if you don't want to you can definitely just ask and i'll just tell you like hey, i've already done that one or hey, i'll do it yeah sure i'm almost done i just need like probably what six or seven more for each of the classes and i'm done probably a little bit less i don't know i need to count but after we're done with the exotic reviews then we're gonna go into just all of the fashion that i've made for them or just make like five or six no probably five sets for that exotic and then probably just go from that and then once we're done with that keep doing it just keep doing it so that way i can keep doing exotic stuff because new ornaments come out um i have new fashion ideas and it's just a good way for me to like basically stretch that muscle so to speak so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe i really do appreciate it because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub really does do a lot and hit the bell notification to keep up to date with my current content because again i do think i post pretty good content for you guys so let me know what you guys think other than that let's get into it so before we actually look at the exotic let's look at what it actually does uncanny arrows provides ability energy for each target tethered by deadfall anchors Mo mobius quiver has an additional shot so yeah this is nothing crazy it literally just gives you more energy and for mobius quiver it gives you an additional shot it's nothing too crazy it's basic but it's reliable and it it was so busted back in the day because it was able to basically give you your super back immediately if the enemy density was high enough and specifically what i remember is back in season of the drifter that's when this exotic was like truly busted because it didn't have a cap it just however many enemies get it got attached you got more energy and at that time we were so powerful that the only way that enemies could kill us was to boop us out of uh into the to the void so basically falling so yeah it just reminds me of a time when we were just obscenely powerful and it's still really good now granted it's probably not as good as fish pants but fish pants you have to work a little bit more just to get that additional damage and this one you just need to put the exotic on that's it so let me know what you guys think about the uncanny arrows other than that let's look at how it actually looks i'm gonna be honest with you guys i think orpheus rigs base look is terrible i hate it i've never really liked it it just looks weird um and it didn't even have to look like this like it's just overall i think it's probably one of the worst looking exotics for the hunters quite frankly um and it's it's funny too because like i like the idea like having arrows on your hip or not hip uh your thigh it's just the design of it just looks visually messy for me and that's like my biggest issue with it is just visually just so many things happening and the boots just look weird like there's just so many things about this set that just kind of like irks me so let me know what you guys think as for how it shaders i'll definitely show you right now but yeah the biggest problem for me when it comes to shading is just the fact that the arrows don't change color and then there's this orange piece on the right side that doesn't change color and that like surprisingly irritates me i don't know why it shouldn't but it does just like why like why are you like this and from what I'm looking at, the boots, specifically the shin guards, also look like there's something in there that shouldn't be there. I don't know what it is. It kind of looks like a line, but that's also pissing me. It, it, if it shaders well, I wouldn't have been mad. That's a lie. I still would have been like, this, this still looks fucking weird, but I wouldn't be as mad because then it's like, okay, well, the purple arrow's not changing. I guess I can see that because it's void. So sure, like, why not? But the orange piece and the stripes on the, on the shin shin guards are just like why like who why is this like your signature as a dev like what is this what why are you like this as for the example set i'm gonna be i'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all i just ended up putting pieces where i was like this doesn't offend me as much as i thought i would and just ended up with this monstrosity i'm gonna be honest i will never never use this set and to be fair i will never 
never use the boots base look so for me it was easy just to throw them away that being said i'll probably post an older set that i've made because i do think it's a little unfair for me to do this when newer players are probably coming in here and be like i need some fashion for this and me just being like i don't care about this is not a, not fair for them so i will probably have another look for it so that way for those of you who are interested i'll definitely try for you guys but i'm gonna be honest this set looks or it, it doesn't look bad let me just say that it doesn't look bad it looks pretty interesting i would just switch out the helmet for something else and then it would actually look like a hunter uh like archer which would be cool but for the helmet hardened basilisk mask well I'll, i would switch it anyways because this helmet's not even available in the game vanguard dare grips lux vest and neoteric yacht cloak these three are available in the game they're from eververse but they are available in game for the shadering vitrified duality because there's purple in there for the glow carbon blood because it turns off the really gross like uh i, I forget what it's called uh it's like it's a really fucked up color on the shoulder pads which is the main reason why i did that and it also has that red line which goes well with the little red or orange piece on the boots Deluxe vest because I love this chest piece. It's one of my favorite chest pieces. And then Neo Terakiot cloak because, again, one of my favorite cloaks. So, yeah, I will probably have the updated look right now just to show you guys. And I really don't have anything to say because I haven't made it yet. So, let me know what you guys think about it. I will probably add a review of the look that I made. If not, and if I didn't make it, I do apologize. But the next sets are basically making up for it because i think the ornaments definitely make it way better so i would just tell you if you have them if you can just buy one of the ornaments it's just gonna be way better but i would probably tell you get the second ornament because the first one is not bad but there's a problem with it so let's just get into it for the ornament we're gonna be looking at the forest ranger i absolutely love this ornament it's i want to say it's my favorite just because it shaders really well that being said, it doesn't shade her that well because let's just get into it. The boots, specifically the shoes, do not change color. And more specifically, the actual like leathering of it does not change color, which is such a bummer because this ornament is really, really cool. That being said, I usually tend to ignore the boots, like the, the coloring of it, because again, I just I'm like, I don't really care about that. I it's like Am I really going to bitch about something that's like only 20 to 10% there? Yes, definitely. But I can learn to like live with it. So Bungie, if you're watching this some, for some weird reason, can you just change the boots to take any other color, please? That'd be great. Thank you. Appreciate you, buddy. But yeah, definitely really like this ornament. It's just the boots that give me a really big problem. As for the ornament... I love this set. This set was one of the sets that I had for the loadouts, and I mm, loved it. For the helmet, Omni Oculus Mask, specifically to take off the hood for Exodus Down Cloak. Exodus Down Cloak has a problem that it has orange uh, lines, which, in the grand scheme of things, it wouldn't have looked that bad. Um, but I still don't want that. Omni Oculus Mask, specifically just to turn off the Ox Exodus Cloak specifically just to turn off the exodus down cloak because the hood has these orange lines that don't really go well with it that being said you probably are noticing that i'm not using the forest ranger ornament on the turntable whatever i'm actually using the base look so this is actually going to be the look for it because if you don't have on the oculus mask you could still use exodus down cloak because it would still go with that orange dot on the base look of of the orpheus rig but I will be showing you the Forest Ranger after you're done with the last rotation, which should be now, I guess. So this is how it looks usually, and I think it looks amazing. That being said, Forest Ranger has the problem that the boots don't change color, which is very unfortunate. But for the arm, Siegebreaker grips, for the chest piece, Diamond Spawn vest, and then for, again, the cloak, Exodus down. So I love this set. This is like one of my favorite sets that I've made just because it looks really, really cool. The Omni Oculus mask, again, like I said, Specifically just to turn off the Exodus cloak just because again, I really don't like that hood So nothing to say about this one specifically the shadering here is gonna be iron to steel for everything but the helmet the helmet I didn't want any of the plate like the the steel coloring because That's not that type of thing for this look. It's more of a jungle vibe. So that's why I went with that 
And then last but not least, we're going to be looking at Calliope's Lullaby. This is the best ornament, I think. It just looks amazing. And a lot of it changes color. That being said, there is still pieces that don't change color, which again, let's just go into shadering so I, I can explain it to you guys. So the first thing you guys are going to notice is the fact that the arrows don't change color, which is not a problem considering you just expect it at this point. But the other problem is that there's some orange lines on pretty much all of the boots, specifically the thighs and the hips. You see this line going down. The buckles have this orange and then on the boots, specifically like the calves and going down. That also has an orange that doesn't change color. Just be aware of that because some people might get really annoyed about that. Like me, I get annoyed about it, but I can also work around it because again, this set has a lot of cool things about it. So for the example set, I ended up going for this right here and I love this set. This is one of my favorite sets that I made. I don't know if it's my favorite above the last one that we just looked at, but it's still really cool nonetheless. For the helmet, Pathfinder's helmet. For the arms, Grips of the Great Hunt. Mimi and Caress for the chest piece. Abyss Walker Cloak for the cloak. And then again, Calliope's Lullaby for the exotic ornament. So this one is one of my favorites specifically because it goes really well with the Calliope's Lullaby with the Abyss Walker Cloak. Um, the back has the bow and arrow. The thigh has the arrow. So it kind of looks like my hunter is ready to use his, uh, his super which is why I love it so much because again, it looks like my hunter's already gonna super you in the face. For the shadering Grand Luster specifically to get that purple color because the Abyss Walker Cloak and the Calliope Lullaby uh, purples are not the same. Like they don't take glows. So it's those purples are locked in and Grand Luster is the same purple as all of those, which is why I went with Grand Luster. So. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely really like a lot of these sets. That being said, I think the second and third one are just amazing. The first one is half fast, I know, but the default look for Orpheus is just terrible. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to see an exotic, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, be safe and I'll see you guys later.